So first things first, um, I don't know if you all noticed my Corona cut, uh, but new hair, new do. Uh, I shaved it myself and um, times are getting tough guys. Times are tough out there. So I, I wanted to start with this Alexa situation and being able to talk to your faucet. So you used to be able to just touch your faucet, um, tap your faucet, turning it on and off. And what's so awesome about being able to turn it on and off like that is what I find is that I save a lot more water. So if I'm gonna go grab something on the other side of the, the, the kitchen, I tap it on, I tap it off really easily in a way that like, I know this is lazy of me, but I'm not turning the on and off switch um, like a normal faucet. And so I end up saving more water than I actually um, even intended to just because it makes it so easy and simple. And again, the only downside about Delta and Brizo touch faucets is that ultimately um, you go to other people's homes and you tap their faucets thinking it will turn on and it does not actually do that. So, but Delta and Brizo have taken it up a notch and now I can talk to my faucet magical, um, and say, Alexa, tell Delta to wash my hands. Now, like, I'm not yelling at you. Wash hands and wash until water turns back on. Okay, so she told me to like wet my hands and put soap, and then I'm supposed to scrub my hands for the time that they're talking about. So y'all, this is a proper hand scrubbing, which I know I'm supposed to like sing happy birthday like three times or the thong song or something. I'm not even sure what it is. And eventually I'm hoping <laughs> that in my live demonstration, this will turn back on. And it does, it's a miracle. I'm always terrified to do things like this that might not work. So cool. How cool is that? So it's, it's specifically turning on, turning off and working in a way that, thank you, my assistant. <laughs> That allows, me, <laughs> that allows me to properly wash and um, talk to Alexa, which I think is cool. But you can also do simple things and just say, Alexa, turn on. Hmm. Alexa, turn hmm. on. Oh, that doesn't work. You have to say, Alexa, tell Delta to turn on. Oh, okay. And then that's exactly what she's going to do. She's going to turn on. So... I, I promise, Alexa, <laughs> tell Delta to turn on. Okay. And then again, you can just tap it off easily if you want, or you can say, Alexa, tell Delta to turn off, which she's gonna freak out and do. And you can also yell at Alexa like I do in my house a lot and tell her that she's not that smart um, and she needs to listen to me because that's what we do in my house. <laughs> So, um, the other fun things that I think are really actually quite cool, because like, you're not going to tell Delta, I don't think you're going to tell it to turn it on that often, but one thing I do think you'll say is, Alexa, tell Delta to pour two cups of water. Okay, dispensing two cups. Sorry, I didn't have it under there right then, because I want to show you how crazy accurate it is. I'm super impressed. So, again, it's... I had, didn't have it under there perfectly, but here's my perfect Pyrex that my mother gave me when I moved out of the house for the very first time. Um, and it poured me two cups of water, which is pretty cool because then again, I don't have to have a measuring cup. I can just put it in whatever bowl um, or dish that I have, which is kind of cool and kind of interesting. And again, she knows other, like she knows ounces. Um, so I can tell her, Alexa, tell Delta to pour four ounces of water. Okay, dispensing four ounces. And that's all four ounces is. I will say she's a smidge less precise, the smaller the increment. So if you're telling her one gallon, if you're telling her um, two ounces, she's a little less precise on the like, you know, she's not gonna be perfect at pouring you like one, you know, thimble full of water. It's just not her deal. Um, and, you know, and then there's options like, Alexa, tell Delta to pour me a martini. Damn. She doesn't pour martinis, she just pours water. Okay, so that is my favorite thing about Delta um, and, and Brizo. And so again, this is something that comes on their touch faucets that were made after Christina, am I, am I making this up? I think it was 2019. Um, so you can add it to an existing faucet that was a touch faucet or the new versions come with these things. And it's a really simple thing. It's just this cute little box and it comes with, um, the cable, a voice module, and a power cord. So it's great. 
So now I'm going to try something really tricky and see if Dan can follow me through my beautiful showroom and over here to this other side. Hope you've all been to our beautiful Scottsdale showroom. It is glorious. And um, one day I hope you all come in more frequently and more often. So in the meantime, what I do have is Mr. Steen. Now here's the situation. I look at like places like gyms and spas that people are going to and they're able, not able to go now, but I also think they're going to be more worried about going to in the future. If I'm wrong, I think we're going to do a better job of like, you know, cleaning and doing all of these things. But I think that there's an opportunity for us to be able to create more spas in our own homes and in our master bathrooms. So that's really what I think this technology kind of does is it's allowing you to bring that whole home spa experience into your actual home. So what's cool about this is this is their, their newest and best version. I can start my Steam. It's all touch screen. And I have multiple ways that I can do different things. So first of all, I can control the music. And I can put on the radio. Uh, I can connect it to I can connect it to my Bluetooth so that I can play any of my fabulous music because obviously I'm listening to Dua Lipa right now, which um, I don't know if y'all are young enough like me <laughs> to know who Dua Lipa is, but she's amazing. Uh, <laughs> it allows you to play her. And I would say the voice, the, the sound quality is pretty awesome. If you look inside of here, If you look inside of here, it's two different speakers in this version. Okay, so again, I would typically have this inside my steam unit, inside my shower, and I would be using it. Um, I can touch it, I can touch it, I can interact with it, I can do whatever I want with it. But also what's really cool is there's obviously a Mr. Steam app now. So I can use it if I'm laying in bed and I want to turn my Steam shell on um, before I get in there, um, which is, you know, something you definitely need to do. And you can also tell Alexa the same thing. You can be, Alexa, tell Mr. Steam to turn on the Steam shower. So as you can see, the Steam is coming out. And the first feature, which I wish you guys could have smell-o vision, way down there. I wish you guys could have smell-o vision, um, because right now it smells like eucalyptus. But, because we have an infused steam shower. So what happens is, is there's a big concentration of the oil, and so we have two different options. So we turn on that oil, and it gets infused into the actual steam. Versus the other option is, is you can just use whatever oils that maybe you have at home and you can drop them onto the top of the steam head. And when you put it on the top of the steam head, that steam head does get so hot that it basically infuses that into the air. Um, I like the other way because it really does smell like way more, like it's just out of control, it's beautiful. But this way it gives you a lot more options. So if you're like, I'm feeling minty, you know, by all means, that's your smell. And the good thing about mint, actually, that I really, really like, and one of the big reasons I like steam so much is when you're sick, when you're not feeling well, when you have a cold, when you're congested. Um, you know, we're mostly in Arizona who's watching me, and it is a very dry place. And this skin only looks this good through a lot of esthetician work. Um, it's a little oily right now because it's hot, and I haven't been to an esthetician in a really long time now. But... Typically, this is what, something that really does help our skin. It helps our pores, but I really, really like it when I'm sick because it helps me breathe better, and especially when I infuse it with the mint and with the different pieces. So I did want to talk a little bit about sizing a steam unit because I think that's something that's really important that you have to work with a, a professional in our showroom, but also um, the Mr. Steam uh, app also helps with that. And so basically you just have to know the length, the width, the height of your steam shower, and then also what kind of tile your steam shower uh, is going to use. Because if it's a natural tile, 
of it's a stone, basically. It, it um, grabs some of that steam from the, the unit, so they typically spice it one, one unit higher in order to uh, make sure you have enough steam in the whole shower. My other tip is making sure that your steam shower is sloped because there is nothing worse than when the water accumulates on the ceiling of your shower. And if it is not sloped and that water, when it accumulates, it'll go then down the side of the wall versus just dripping tiny little drip drops on top of it. And they're cold uh, compared to the, of the steam. You know what I was thinking about the other day was how crazy the steam shower is because I was talking about in our first session, steam ovens. Um, and so I'm kind of like, it's a version of cooking, but this is at a much lower temperature. Again, Again what's super nice about this is I'm setting a temperature. This one is at 110 degrees. But I think this is too hot for me. I can lower that temperature and do something different. This is on for 16 minutes. Again, just taking my time. I can also stop it. But one thing I wanted to talk a little bit about that I really, really like is chromotherapy. This is the chromotherapy wheel, and you can choose the kind of color that you want. So if you want yellow, if you're wanting red, if you're wanting a purple, um, I can do variations on it, darkening and lightening it. And what's kind of fun about these colors, again, if we're creating these steam showers that are ultimately creating a spa in our home, the idea is that we're going with Aromatherapy, aromatherapy that is going to heighten our senses in the ways that we want them to be heightened. So if you're doing the color red, what happens with red is it's warm. Consider it creates energy, it's stimulation. So if I like want to just kick some butt today, like this is my day, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to put red on in the morning when I first start the day. Um, or if you want to use yeah, Yellow is for happiness. It's also for security. And Lord knows I need some security right now. So again, I would probably be steaming with yellow uh, if it would be, uh, because I need some security in my life at this moment. And then you have green, which gives you, uh, it's a cooling, it's calming. It's similar to blue, because blue does some of those same things, those same properties. The blue is a calming, and it actually it treats headaches and sleep issues. So again, some of us with some serious hypertension issues out there really need some blue steam aromatherapy. And then we talked a little bit about the music therapy that happens. And I don't know, for me, like I like sometimes some rock out music therapy. So you're playing whatever you want to play, um, whether it's classic or whatnot. But it's just, again, it's giving you a full spa environment. Um, you know, when you go to the spas and they're playing the, the small bells, dingy the winds and the willows, and you could do that if you want. So, uh, and also, I just wanted to talk about, finally, the thing I'm most excited about, Mr. Steam, and it doesn't come out for a little while, but what's cool about it is it's going to incorporate this little control, and what it is, it's going to be a full shower experience. So there's a few companies on the market that do it right now, but they're very specific to themselves. So if you use a Kohler steam shower, using Bowen, um, I'm sorry, shower, you have to use all Moen products throughout. Um, and what's interesting about this is that they're going to allow you to basically use any kind of shower head you want, any body spray, any rain head uh, with their technology. One of the things I think is really neat about it too is that they're going to have a, a process that allows you to um, have hot water on demand, essentially. So again, if you set your shower for, I take a shower pretty consistently every morning at 7 a.m., I can set my shower so that hot water is there. So you don't necessarily have to have a research pump on your house or something to do, um, but instead it's going to make sure it's there for you so that first drop of water is essentially hot. So that is ultimately the future of what Mr. Steam has coming up. We're expecting it in the fourth quarter. It's honestly been in Europe for like, four or five years, which makes me happy because that means all the things have been worked out of it. Um, and again, they're going to be able to like create other ways for uh, us to be able to use steam in the shower and, and how that's the experience that I really want to make sure we're bringing into our client. Home. So I'm going to run back over here. My cameraman, Dan, I'm kind of feeling this. I'm feeling like a salon Ooh, and I'm going to mute this because it's driving me mad. Um, okay. 
Hey, I'm back. I just wanted to ask, see if I had any questions. I'm gonna unmute everybody. Um, oh, okay, so Christina, what did you have to say? Let's go back to the Delta Brizo faucets. You talked about um, custom sizes. January 2018. Oh, that's when it was available. Okay, so if you have um, a faucet from January of 2018 and beyond, you can add that Alexa and Delta to it. I will say, do you? I'm not sure what the price point is on it. It's not very much. It's only like 150, 200 dollars around there yeah. to add that onto it. I mean, yeah, it's, 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 between it's all relative. And uh, depending on the brand, but it's so they're separate modules. One speaks to Brizo, one speaks to Delta. So you just want to make sure you specify the one that's appropriate for your faucet. And uh, the other cool thing that I'd like to mention is that you can make custom sizes. So I have a hydro flask that's 60, 65 ounces or something, but I put ice in it. So I was able to customize it. So every morning I can just walk up to the faucet and say, fill my hydro flask and it's the automatic so you can have just six of those that you can do. Look at you, Dog fancy. I like that. <laughs> With your fancy cups that allow you to have strange sizes. Uh, awesome. I love that. I mean, mind you, to teach Alexa something, I'm terrified. Um, okay. Uh, anything else? Vanity faucet options as well. Do we have the Alexa hands-free option for bathroom vanity faucets? That's a great question. I know Paula's on the phone too. Paula, Christina, what do you know? Is that coming out anytime soon? Because that could be interesting uh, as well. I don't, I don't know if Paula wants to answer that, but um, on, it, they're not advertising it for that, but I can't see why you couldn't uh, yeah. because it's solenoid. So that, that would be something that I'd want to test before we promised it, but they're not marketing it that, that way. Okay. The only challenge with that too is you have to make sure that your faucet is in the open mode. So it makes more sense on the kitchen faucet that's a touch that you already has um, this open mode that it's already kind of ready for. Otherwise, you're going to be super annoyed when you're like going over there to turn on your faucet and it won't turn on. Um, you know. Something else those. to add to that too, Jeremy, is is that on the bathroom faucets that have touch, they have also have proximity. So you don't need the voice activation as much because you have uh, you can. If it's in the on position, you can just put your hand up to the faucet and it senses you're there. Okay, but because Michelle's asking it for specifically for an ADA client, so I think that's something that could be interesting. Um, um, so we could ask that in terms of, because this is a little different in terms of the sensor activations. I'm going to be honest, I don't like the sensor ones. Um, you know, if we've all ever been to um, the airport and the Thing won't turn on to save your life. Um, that's what is so nice about touch faucets. And you know, if Alexa is listening to you correctly, um, you know those turn on more accurately. I think than um, like the is it the celluloid uh, the sensor sensor activation. So I'll have to kind of look at that if um, one of these will work better for that type of application because that could be really very very cool. Okay, does anybody else have any other questions or thoughts? Yes. Um, will the chromotherapy uh, colors circulate on their own? Like, can you have the full spectrum? Oh my gosh, yes. If you want a total disco, you want to yes. play your Dua Lipa and yes. rock out <laughs> like I do in my shower, just to like get ready for these hard coronavirus days. And yes, you want that color to totally disco ball it. Yes, it does that. Thank goodness. I mean, if it did. And can you set it on a time? Can can it like be a, a slow revolve or a fast revolve? Can you do that? I have no idea. Um, that's a wonderful question. <laughs> Christina, I know you're not the rat, but do you know? Um, I know that they have to evolve, but I've never noticed whether I can set, um, whether it goes fast or slow. Because you're right, maybe you don't want it to be disco. Maybe you want like a, you know, evolving color therapy exactly. where you're, you're hitting every one of your chakras um, in a mm -hmm. slow, non-insane way. Okay. So I'll have to check on that. I have not a clue. All right. Awesome. Good question though. Appreciate it. Okay. Hey, thank you guys so much for joining my uh, faucet side chat. Uh, I'm looking forward to next week.
I'm looking at two different things. It's going to be a little bit more appliance related, uh, but I really appreciate the time, the opportunity. Thank you for shopping local. Thank you for connecting with us. And if there's anything I can do for you or any of my team, um, whether it's plumbing, appliance, lighting, or hardware related, or even not, please do reach out. Uh, we'd 